Hello everyone, welcome back to another devlog for the Feathered Serpent. I'm Matthew, and today's devlog is special. You might notice some dinosaurs on the bottom of the screen, because we're doing this devlog live. We'll do it live! So last Friday was pretty huge for my game. I was able to publish and put out the official beta version for my game. So all of the Kickstarter backers who chose to back the beta can now test it out. But I know that there was quite a few of you who still wanted to test out the beta. So I made it available to still be purchased. You can still support me in the game. And purchasing the beta will also grant you full access to the game on release. So there's no need to worry there. But if you've ever wanted to test out the game and be a part of the process and help me make the game better and catch and find bugs, you can go ahead and join and, and purchase that beta. Uh, you'll get a role in my Discord and access to some servers that we can all chat in. And uh, the links for that are just going to be linked in the description of this video. But let's go ahead and look in at some uh, changes uh, to the Feathered Serpent since the last time I posted. So, uh, apart from the millions and millions of bugs that uh, people who are playing the beta report to me every day that I fix, there's a couple that I think are pretty significant. So the first one, or one of the first significant ones, being that if I'm close to a wall, I can't actually fire. I have to step away from the wall in order to fire. Now this was causing a lot of bugs. People could like shoot through walls. People could like shoot into the ground. But now, as you can see, I'm holding down the attack button. I can't shoot. I have to actually step away from the wall. Very tiny detail, but it's these tiny details and, and polish that really are going to pull the final game uh, together. On top of that, I added in a ton of new items, a lot of them fruit, actually. I don't know if you've been seeing my shorts lately, but there's been a lot of fruit. So here we have grapes, this is kiwi, um, and this is an item that was created by one of the people here on Twitch chat. So part of the reason a lot of people come over here and watch me on Twitch is not only do you get to see the development, but the more you watch me, the more you earn these things called channel points. On my channel, they're called crests, and you can actually redeem your crests after watching, I think it's for like a week and you can put in your idea for an item into my game. This is a limited time thing. I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to get rid of it, but currently that is available, and this, for example, is one of those items, which I believe is also like a reference to a band or something like that. But it's created by Flames, F1AM3Z. Uh, also, thank you for the water. Okay, so another thing that I put into my game is achievements. So depending on how many enemies you kill or certain enemy types, what enemies you unlock. For example, when I kill the boss here, as you see that little banner notification in the top right says I've unlocked an item. So now there's a progression with the items in my game. Uh, so you're, you can actually feel like you're progressing, you're unlocking more parts of the game. Um, and it's not just the boss here. I have things tied to when you beat the boss for the third time and you beat him the sixth time. Uh, when you kill 10 monkeys. Oh, oh, ignore this little guy. Uh, so tons of, of different and, and unique ways to unlock these different types of uh, items and power-ups that then you can see on subsequent runs. Um, I also made it so that certain enemies don't appear unless uh, you have killed the boss. So for example, in the first area, oh, there it is. I unlocked another item for holding 100 coins. Uh, so for example, in the first area, those blue flying pterosaurs that aim and they rear back and they shoot towards the player they don't start appearing until you've killed the boss at least one time and by doing that i'm hoping that you know players can have an easier experience when they first play the game and then once they've gotten good enough to be able to get to the boss and beat him then i'm like okay let me introduce you to some actual harder enemy ai uh, and i'm hoping that that's going to help keep the game feeling fresh as well as just uh i don't know making them feel like well this game keeps getting bigger and bigger the more i play it and hopefully it's going to give this feeling of incentivizing players to uh, continue uh, playing and playing and playing the game. Uh, I just got to show off this item here. It's one of my favorite items that was uh, submitted by a viewer, actually. So it's called the Tlaloc Idol. It makes this rain effect happen, and then it just completely gets rid of any, any friction. Uh, I don't necessarily know why I took it, because it's definitely going to make things harder, but uh, I just love the item so much. Another really tiny detail is I gave the rock walkers a fresh coat of paint here so that they kind of fit more in line with the first area uh, dinosaur enemies. And let me go and show you a bigger one here. All right, and here are the big rock walkers here. Just some slight changes. Has more of an eyeball now. Actually kind of fits a little bit better. 
All right, now I'm pretty sure I've shown this off before, but in the off chance that I haven't, I'll go and show it up again or show it off again. When you first get to this area, uh, you actually unlock diamond for the first time. So it will give you these diamond shots. And you actually have to break your way into the city here. So you have to shoot down this archer and then shoot down this giant wall. And then you walk into the city area, the Saurian city. I don't think I've ever shown off any levels of this area before. So I think I'll just do about one to two minutes here of gameplay. I'll play through about two levels here. Unless the game crashes. And we're back. Okay. Let's look at some levels. As I was saying. So we come over here. I don't know if I've ever shown off any of these these enemies before. Also, I, I, I did end up uh, just barely uh, doubling their HP, and I'm still dunking on them. I do have 18 damage, though, which is pretty crazy that they're still holding up. There's these cool trapdoor things. I'm pretty sure I showed these off, but you can step on them, and the level design kind of incorporates these little switches that you have to, like, you know, put in. Oh, jeez. Okay. Stay away from me. And the game is bugged again. Beautiful. See, you could also join me and everyone else in finding these bugs so that the game can be better. Link in the description. Okay, we're back. So, what bugged out? There's these new, uh, there's this new collectible in the game that you can use with the NPC in this area. Uh, and they are totems. As you can see, it's this yellow glowing totem, this little bird totem right here. And you give these, you heard the little, the hawk screech. You give these to a NPC called Eli. If you don't get torched. And Eli will do things like, uh, you can, he has his own skill tree that you can upgrade. And I mean, I'll, I'll just show it off when I get there. Give me two seconds here. I think it's this, this next level here. It's not. Okay, I'll show it off when I get there. Also, real quick, I just fixed the egg explosion here. Okay, I, obviously as I say that, it looks bugged as crap. But you see there how it explodes? Okay, hold on. Hold on. This is this is what you experience live. You get to look at me what I'm doing. And then I fix it. And then I come back and I fix it. Or I just lose my mind. Either one. Okay, 100% it's working now. As you can see there. Nice juicy sound when I explode the egg. AK, 100% is not working. Wait, 50% it was working? <laughs> it plays it twice? <laughs> okay, anyways. We'll fix that later. But uh, yeah, this is the fifth area in all of its glory with uh, different traps, different enemies, different mechanics. Um, I'm going to get hurt here. Yep. Okay. Nope. Don't die. All right. Nice. Okay. So right here, we have the next NPC. I'm in the way, but there's the logo for it. We walk over here. We should get a skill tree here. That looks like Eli the bird. We bow down to... Or a totem. We bow down to it. Cut, cut it. Cut it. Cut the script. Cut the show. Oh, wait. There it is. His eyes are supposed to be glowing. Whoa, forget about it. So this is the, uh, this is the screen. Um, you'll, you should be able to redeem different things for Eli to do. And he will show up in the subsequent levels. And he will help you out based on your totems. So as you can see, I only have two. You actually can't see. I only have two totems. So currently, I cannot unlock anything, but this is its own unique interaction with this NPC. And as you uh, progress and as you play through the fourth area more and more, this NPC will be able to help you out. Especially because I'm counting on the fourth area being one of the harder jumps or spikes in difficulty. Um, and then over there on the bottom uh, left, bottom left over there, you can see that once I've collected these totems, there is a new... Uh, UI element to represent those totems that I've now unlocked these bird totems um, That being said I should definitely be able to hover over the Okay, don't don't move. I have a slippery slidey item. Uh, I should be able to <laughs> Hover over uh, and see see what the descriptions are, but it looks like it is a little bugged also The slide while I'm bowing down is kind of funny Anyways, so lots of fun stuff to... Oh, hello. Lots of fun stuff to uh, pick apart, look into, um, and, and polish out and fix for this next upcoming week. Uh, but let me go ahead and show off the fourth and part of the fifth area here. Okay, everyone. So I just spent like the last hour and a half trying to fix <laughs> this bug. If any of you know how to... If any of you are coding it though, and you know how to figure out 
uh, what, um, also this is what my stream overlay looks like. If you know how to figure out what a, uh, what an, what is, node is currently taking the input off of the cursor, let me know. Because, uh, I currently have a lot of bugs to deal with that. I don't know why. Anyways, moving on. All right, last thing I wanted to show off in this dev log. We actually finished this a while ago, but I didn't want to spoil it until the beta dropped. Uh, and if you don't want yourself spoiled, this is the fourth area boss. You can just double tap uh, a couple times until you're about three minutes in. But I'm going to show the full boss fight. There's two phases. And uh, this is just a normal run. I haven't cheated any of this. So we're just going to see how it is. I'm just going to show you guys the glory of this of this fight. And he's going to have some uh, some dialogue as you progress and it might change based on how many times you face him. There's no theme, so it's up to us. That's cool. All right. So right out the gates, my camera's a little strange. Ooh. I think I'm going to I'm going to do relatively well against this guy. And so his dinosaur can attack me if I get too close here. Oh, just kidding. The game will crash. Because I'm playing the wrong sound. Give me two seconds. All right. Uh, <clears throat> pretend like you didn't see anything. This is uh, uh, definitely the first time we're showing this off. Nobody say anything. Okay. Oh, yep, he got me. Ooh, close. Dang, yeah, so we're still doing... We, we doubled his HP, and he's still dunking on us. There's the attack. Oh, please make the jump. Dang it. All right, it's going to fall on our head. I could not hop over him. Okay, I'm going to die in one more hit because I take double damage. Okay. We got to the cutscene. That's important. I don't necessarily care if we win, but enjoy everyone. Nice. Refills his health bar. Uh, I'm screwed. Oh, wait. He's walking over to his, his thing. We're good. I'm dead. Okay. We're good. Oh, he's going to throw it. I got to run. Oh, I don't run that fast. Yeah, he's got some attacks here. He also has some combos if you end up being too close for him. Okay, he's creating his wall. Can't shoot through it. All right, he's gonna throw again. All right, one. By the way, one more hit, and I'm done. Okay, nice. I'm getting debated. I want him to jump in the air and throw his spear, or at least call a, a rain of arrows down on me. I think both of those attacks would be cool to show off here. Oh, there he is! Throw, jump in the air. Yikes. Okay, part of me also wants to kill him, though. Ah, he's gonna kill me. Oh, he got me on the upstroke! Alright, well... <laughs> there's that. So, long story short, we've done quite a bit uh, with the update for the beta here. Uh, we've put in lots of polish, lots of bug fixes. Even just in the process of making this devlog, I've been finding and catching bugs. Uh, I managed to put in a, a lot of fun and new unique items that, uh, honestly, I'll have to show them off <laughs> in another video or some other time because I'm running late. Uh, but hey, everyone, development's going well. So what is the timeline for the game? Uh, just moving forward here, and I can go ahead and uh, we can switch over to uh, this menu. So officially, the game is going to be coming out on the 25th of March, and... Developments, it's doable. It's doable, um, but we're, we're chugging along. I'm just hoping that we can uh, 
kind of have smoother sailing moving forward. Not necessarily like there's no bugs, but just uh, in getting things done on time and in figuring things out. Uh, before I do end this devlog though and this stream, double up, I do want to give a huge shout out to, first off, all these little dinos at the bottom of the screen, all the subscribers. Thank you guys. Your support's awesome and uh, it helps me keep making this game and doing what I love. Uh, on top of that, I do want to give another shout out to my, uh oh, I think it's over here, to my Patreon supporters. So these people have supported me on Patreon for quite a long time. I'm actually covering up Avent Avguard here. Uh, these people supported me, a lot of them, before the Kickstarter even happened, before I even started streaming. And so I just want to give a special shout out to all these people. Um, thank you very much for believing in the project and being some of the very first people to support me. Uh, it means a lot. With that being said, everyone, I'm going to leave. Thank you. If you would once again like to participate in bug testing and playing the beta and playing through those four different areas that are now available in the game, uh, please go ahead and check out the link in the description. And for those of you over on uh, the stream, it is the pinned comment. Okay. I'll catch all of you in another video. And thank you, everyone, again for all that you do.